This is KSL News at 6. Good evening. A suspected car thief was shot and killed this morning by a state trooper on Legacy Parkway. He eluded police for several hours. The Centerville police chief says the man was reportedly suicidal and might have tried to lure them into suicide by cop. New specialist Jed Bowles live in Centerville to tell us why this chase had police especially concerned. Jed? Yeah, police have actually just identified the man that they shot and killed out here on Legacy Parkway as 32-year-old Cody Ray McRae of West Bountiful. Legacy Parkway just reopened about an hour ago after it was closed for six hours. Police spent that time out here investigating the shooting after spending most of the morning chasing McRae. It started 2.30 a.m. This incident has been an ongoing situation throughout the morning. Centerville police chased a stolen car. More than one attempt to stop the car. With information, the driver was suicidal. The information over the radio was that it was he wanted a suicide by cop. As the Centerville parade started and thousands of people came out, police monitored the car and kept it away from the parade. We did not want this individual entering into our parade area where thousands of people were. We were. I was very concerned about that. So they maintained a defensive stance and monitored the car without chasing aggressively. Trying to block any way to get into our, into our people, where our people were. Around 1030, chasing the runaway driver onto Legacy Parkway, headed north at Parrish Lane. Police spiked his tires. He went head on into one of my patrol vehicles. Another police car rammed the suspect car, stopping it in the median. That's when a UHP trooper shot and killed the man. These are incidents that we wish we didn't have to deal with. These are a threat to our community. They have a huge impact on our officers. Police have not told us whether the man had a gun, who initiated the shooting, and how many shots were fired. Davis County will investigate this officer-involved shooting. It's an officer's worst nightmare. It's my worst nightmare. It's not something we wanted to have happen on a 4th of July. The trooper who pulled the trigger with those fatal shots has not been identified. He has been placed on administrative leave during this investigation. There's certainly many more questions to be answered about exactly what happened right before those shots were filed. We'll keep on that in the coming days and see what answers we can get. Back to you. Yeah, bottom line, though, Jed, they protected the people who were nearby at that parade. So uh, that's uh, certainly a tough situation. Thanks. You